I'm tripping. Welcome back to your daily video of Eric Gordon. Today for lunch, we have spaghetti and meatballs, fresh broccoli, carrots, garlic bread, peaches, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holiday. Let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, this is Ian Jane, and this is your top five news stories for the day. Number one, Biden says he is not concerned about more private documents being leaked. Two, major surplus in calls to National Mental Health Crisis Line have been reported after number switch. Three, Hunter Larkin, former mayor with multiple DUI charges, re-elected as mayor of Goddard. Four, Alec Baldwin charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter after rust incident. Five, JV girls basketball continues to crush it, undefeated through the January 20th. Here's our word of the week. This week's word of the week is paradox. A seemingly absurd or self-contradicting statement or proposition that when investigated or explained may prove to be well-founded or true. Next, here's an ACT update. Here's Tuesday's team. Next, an honorable mention to Briella. Now, here's rapid-fire questions. Uh, my name is Tanner Johnson. Uh, uh track. Do you do track? Yes. Okay. And football, and I coach and everything like that. Just draw, uh, and listen to music and play video games. Alright. Cool. job is to become a producer. Uh, I don't want to be famous, but I just want to be, like, get my name out there and just be happy. Because music is what I love. Thank you. Yeah. Next, here's a resume writing workshop announcement. Let's head on over to the weather. Today's high is 39 and tonight's low is 27. And there's a chance of rain and snow tonight. Now for a quick blast of the past. Let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay flat. January 24th, 1848. In Northern California, James Marshall finds a gold nugget at Sutter's Mill, a discovery that sparks the gold rush the following year. 1965. In London, former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who led his nation through the dark days of World War II, dies at the age of 90. If the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. 1989. Confessed serial killer Ted Bundy is executed in Florida's electric chair for the rape and murder of a 12-year-old girl. 1993, Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court, dies in Bethesda, Maryland. Marshall, a legendary civil rights lawyer and activist before his time on the high court, was 84. And 1949. Over? Did you say over? Nothing is over until we decide it is! Actor John Belushi, who played Bluto in the movie Animal House, 
And one of the original cast members of TV Saturday Night Live is born in Chicago. Today in history, January 24th, Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.